What we're going to be taking a look at today is the Nike KD14 Sunset, which we've got right behind us here, and we're putting that alongside the Nike Kyrie 4 Sunset. And there it is, right behind us on the green screen here, and you can see those two shoes right beside each other. And the thing that ties those two shoes together, not just the name Sunset, uh, but the kind of purpose behind that Sunset is all about New York versus New York, and I'm pretty sure, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure it's a street basketball competition in New York City. I might have that wrong. It might be more complicated than that, or it might be something other than that. I think it might be the five boroughs of New York fighting against each other, actually, now that I think about it. But what I do know is that it's coming hot on the heels of this right here, the K54s, uh, and they'll be the Jordan 5s. There's about four different Jordans uh, coming out with the K54 competition this year, which is a street basketball competition in Paris, France, cancelled last year because of the pandemic. So the Jordan 6s from last year could be quite a rare shoe that you're looking after uh, and then you've got these guys today these pair of shoes with the New York versus New York but then also looking down the line I'll be doing the video that goes with the West Coast basketball scene for the summer because the uh, NBA season will be well finished uh, and that's called the Drew League and their Air Force Ones out there and again the Air Force Ones that last year for the Drew League uh, being cancelled it could be a sought after shoe uh, so that's kind of where these shoes fit in the sort of uh, spectrum of street basketball all the way from Europe up in Paris and the K54 over to the west coast of the US to uh, the summer basketball leagues in the Drew League and then these guys here I'm pretty sure it's something like the five boroughs of New York battling against each other and that New York versus New York theme will be running through both of these shoes but it's all basic it all starts it all comes out of street basketball we're not talking about anything that's regulated by something as big as the nba we're not talking about anything that's like actually got any structure to it you're talking about kids playing in public basketball courts uh, throughout the days like Every, the whole day at the basketball court, just different games, different pickup games and stuff like that. Uh, and then, and I, I did this as a kid, but not with basketball. I'm from uh, Scotland, well, from the UK, a very complicated background, London, England, and Scotland all in there. And the, the, I grew up in Scotland and the sport in Scotland is golf. Uh, and we would play golf for 14 hours in the day. You'd go up there uh, and start playing at nine o'clock at the practice um, grounds and stuff like that. And if you can get out there and play a full round, you'd do that and you'd play right up till the last last shred of light like hitting the golf ball into absolute blackness and hoping that it's on the fairway when you get there and it's exactly the same with these street basketball things because people will play until they cannot see any longer and that's why the sunset is the theme of these two shoes is because that's when uh, you just have to sort of call it a day and people will play until the very last slither of light the very last slither of sun uh, before it does uh, the sunset so that's what this is all about you've got the two sort of stories in these two shoes both of them represent New York versus New York and both of them represent street basketball where people will play right up to and beyond sunset so uh, so I'm going to take a look at the shoes one after the other and we're going to start with the KD4 14s. And the thing that I really want to say about these KD14s is for me, this is the most complete KD14 we've looked at. Now, I would go ahead and say we've looked at maybe five or six different KD14 colorways, and they've always been a little bit disjointed. The flow through the shoe has never really been there for me. And what we're talking about is three main points on the shoe, uh, the colouring and the detailing on the ankle strap in the terms of the colour of the strap itself and the detailing of the swoosh on there. And then the, the layered colouring effect on the upper uh, and then uh, below that, right in the mid sole, you've got this really funky sort of cushioning system going on there that to be honest, looks like some kind of elongated mouth. Um, and uh, But the thing with this is, that, and this KD14 is that the all line up there's a really clear line through the entire shoe and the entire colorway that I totally get on uh, this shoe and it definitely represents that sunset uh, vibe and that's really most obvious around the back if you have a look at the heel on these guys no detailing back there but at least the color is going with that more peachy sunset feel rather than anything else so that's kind of a dominant feature on the back of the shoe uh, but like I say it's the most complete KD14 that I've seen it all, it all sort of fits together uh, 
Um, and it's kind of interesting if you flip them upside down and have a look at the outsole. The outsole is a very solid grey and you can see the geometric patterns in the tread down there but no colouring which is in contrast to the most recent shoe we did which they called the multicolour. I don't think it'll be called the multicolour because it's only blue and red that was in that shoe but it was a whole lot of abstract art on the outsole of those guys and the, the tread itself was missing but in these guys missing, I shouldn't say missing, the tread itself was hard to see because of the colours uh, but with these guys because there isn't any colour it's just all grey you can really see the tread on the bottom of them. Uh, two things to look at before we go over to those Kyrie 4s, uh, up onto the tongues because they're not interesting, because the tongues of the Kyrie 4s are interesting. So just log that in the memory that this is what the tongues look like on the KD14s. And then back from that, you can peek on the inside and see the insole. But why peek on the inside? Then you can peek on the outside and see the insoles removed like this. And it's an absolutely beautiful tribute to that street basketball scene. And I think I'm right in saying it's exactly the same insole on those Kyrie 4s, but a slightly different colour so we might as well flip these insoles out to these insoles here and make that our char sort of segue from one shoe to the other we're done with the KD14 sunset and now we're getting into the Kyrie 4 sunset two things about that one I don't know why they chose Kyrie 4 and not Kyrie 7 which is the current iteration of the shoe uh, and two when I first started this channel one of the very first shoes I ever did for it was the Kyrie 5 it gets a beautiful shoe but I'd never actually looked at Kyrie 4s before so I don't really know much about them but I can tell you and um, that the upper is a little bit more green than the counterpart of the KD14 line uh, but the sunset sort of effect comes in that midsole area see towards the middle of the shoe and to the heel and uh, that kind of midsole area fades in yellows and reds and oranges to give you a real sort of sense of uh, the sunset going on there but the main thing we want to do when we look at these shoes uh, is look at three interesting things some that compare to those KD14s and some unique to this shoe so the first thing I want to do is go up to the tongues and this is where we see that interesting contrast to those KD14s where the KD14s were very simple these Kyrie 4s have got the Kyrie branding as standard I think on the right shoe and then on the left shoe it's got that New York versus New York or NY versus NY going on there and that's why like I said I had you guys really pay attention to the tongues on the KD14s because they're so simple compared to these guys that have that kind of variation on there. Um, and then uh, you can kind of travel back from that and see the insole. But we've already had a look at the insole taken out uh, at the start of this kind of transition from the KD14s to the Kyrie 4s. Uh, but I would like to go around to the heel. Now, this isn't because I want to compare the heels on the KD14s and the Kyrie 4s. It's because uh, there's always these little nods to Egypt in Kyrie's shoes. And you can see that on the back here with that kind of bracket that heel support on there um, with that all-seeing Egyptian eye feel on the back. Now it's not as pronounced as later shoes, especially the fives and the sevens have a lot going on there. The sixes too, actually, when I think about their molded heel, uh, but that Egyptian feel and that all-seeing eye feel uh, is very clear there on the back of these Kyrie fours. And if you zoom in nice and close, you can see the two signature words that go with Kyrie shoes, which is humble and I was going to say honest, but it's not honest. It's hungry. That's the one. Humble and hungry. So you keep yourself humble, 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 but you're hungry for the first success, which is a great sort of balance between being morally sort of correct and stable, but actually driven to go after your dreams. And it's a great way to finish this pair of shoes. Look at these Kyrie fours in particular, but also uh, those KD 14. So beautiful shoes representing that kind of street basketball summer. But you know, that's what we'll call it. We'll call it the summer basketball scene because it comes in so many different ways. Like I said, the K54 street basketball tournament, although that's got a lot of structure to it. It's almost like a stadium at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower. Now it's got so much structure to it. Across to the summer leagues in uh, West America and the, the Drew League in particular. And then this one here, New York versus New York is uh, the third of those three. So uh, I'll be doing the Air Force One uh, look at the Air Force Ones from the Drew League in a couple of days time. But I've already done the K54 Jordan fives not the other Jordans is like a one and uh, I think there's a is it a 13 I don't know maybe it's 11 um, and a 35 as well I think from the Jordan line but it was the five that I was most interested in on those K54s for now it's time to wrap this one up so the two shoes today KD14s and the Kyrie 4s sunsets both really nice very sleek shoes with a great story behind them so if you're interested definitely head out and grab yourself a pair. I think I'm right in saying it's July 22nd. There's a drop date on both of these shoes. With that being said, it's time to wrap up another video for today. I just thank you guys for checking out the content. And because I do this every single day, it means that I get to say the same thing at the end of every single video, which is you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.